We're at the Old Vic. The Old Vic at the moment is showing the Christmas Carol. It touches on issues of generosity, kindness and those sorts of things. And there's an amazing um, audience reaction. So we're here to talk about the science of philanthropy. And it's going to be a very interesting discussion, I hope. This is a new and diverse programme aimed at opening up our work to a broader audience. Mish Condorea and the Old Vic are on the face of it two very different partners, but we have a very um, similar objective, which is to spark debate and conversation. So we're two creative thought leaders coming together to create a programme that really allows the thoughts and the themes of the main productions to resonate and reach beyond the main stage. The discussion was lively and I think it was good actually that we had people who had some quite different viewpoints on the panel. There were a lot of interesting things going on. I think one of the most interesting things was the discussion about whether actually unraveling the science of generosity itself undermines generosity. Uh, and I think there, there, there might be some truth to that actually. The evolution has equipped us with a range of social, cooperative and altruistic dispositions. Uh, and this explains why we're nice to our families, nice to our friends, uh, why we support our teammates. But it can also explain why we're nice to strangers, why we're kind to strangers. Are we genuinely altruistic? Do we do this because uh, we really care about other people and there's no self-interest whatsoever? Or is it just self-interested? And our evolutionary perspective would say, you can have both things. You can think what you're doing is perfectly, purely altruistic, and it is from your psychological perspective. But from an evolutionary point of view, you're descendants of people who have, on average, been nice in the past, and that is a selected trait. Humans are social animals. They've lived in social groups for 50 million years, uh, and during that time, other people have been our life support system. So making sure we're plugged into that and, and, we, and we maintain those relationships is one of the most important things that we can do. I have a problem with uh, explaining generosity in terms of one's own self-interest. So it doesn't seem like generosity to me. Uh, it doesn't seem like altruism to say that actually you get, you know, ultimately, biologically or whatever, you get something out of it. I quite like the old-fashioned, simple idea that we are able to be selfless. One of the things to realize is that altruism uh, is really about cooperation, and it applies across, uh, across the animal kingdom. I mean, you yourself are, are more, more, I mean, you're an altruistic person, I'm sure, but you're also a, a bunch of, you're an ecosystem. There are a whole bunch of different organisms that are, that are cooperating with each other to make you work. Another general question was, well, what's the relationship between cooperation on the one hand and morality on the other? And my view is that they're, they're not really two separate things. Morality is just the label we give to different types of cooperative behaviour. We spent quite a bit of time talking about morality and whether we ought to be thinking about morality in terms of enlightened self-interest or whether that is actually taking the altruism out of altruism. Voices Off is a programme of talks, debates, conversations, workshops with leading voices in the arts, the media, science and politics, really aim to animate the themes of the production on the main stage.